Oh, hey there, how's she going? Got some more lights put on Barb, you wanna see? Check these out. We got some, Fe some Phoenix Fusion scene lights here. These are, I believe, the nine inch, nine inch long ones. And um, it took me quite a while to figure out where I wanted to put these. I had to uh, get some custom brackets made. Um, because these actually don't come with brackets so that's up to you to decide how you want to mount them you just get the screws with it and that's it but I got some custom brackets built and I wasn't too sure where I was gonna put them um, I got tons up there and I know you guys can see that wacky wiring job going on up there and just so you know this ra this canopy is gonna be coming off the truck and I'm gonna drill holes and put grommets and run all the wiring inside the square tubing when I did that install video for those lights up top, the uh, Phoenix um, AM900s and the AI cubes, uh, it, uh, it was very cold outside winter and it was just not fun being up there. So I kind of just threw it together temporarily so it would work. Uh, but I am going to do a cleaner install and eventually repaint the rack and all that stuff. But so what I decided to do here, um, I got my little control station here with my uh, Phoenix AI series light bar controller. And then my 4200 Mini, which controls pretty much everything on the truck uh, that's from Phoenix, really. Uh, I got my horn on there and all kinds of other stuff, so that's great. But I'm going to wire in my um, left and right, which are right here. These are already set up. I'm just going to splice in these new guys here. And I'm going to show you where right now. Okay, so this is where I decided. I'm going to install these. <clears throat> waiting for my camera to focus right up there inside that little tiny basically where my uh, cab meets the frame so what I did was I stuck this up in here and it sits nice and snug right there see how that's sitting there and then you aim it back and it shoots directly ahead. Don't mind the oil, that's the next project. Um, straight down here. It's uh, completely unnecessary, but who cares? That's why it's awesome. So, I'm going to uh, drill some holes, put the hardware through it, and uh, run my wire. I can actually sneak it up underneath there so you won't even see it, and then up to the front, and it should I should have enough length to get it inside the truck and to this splice here. So I'll have to pull this loom off. Uh, I need a bigger piece because there's too many wires in there right now. But um, I'll uh, cut the wires for the left and right lights and I'll just splice it in so it's all on the same switch. So when I turn the left side lights on, this one and those ones both turn on. So that's what we're going to do and uh, keep you updated. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, so this is a little bit further down the road uh, in time because uh, things kind of got sidetracked. But we're back at it again. So we'll get right into it. Since the last bit I filmed, I mounted everything. I just did not film it, unfortunately. Uh, I only put one bolt through there for now, but that's basically the angle they're gonna sit at, and they're just gonna shoot straight out right here. Um, I did start filming with all this today, or working on this today. I ran my wires, uh, which are still attached to my little fish wire, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Um, but, as you can see, this is where I've got my crazy amount of wiring coming through my floor up to my controllers. Uh, mind you, I'm not the neatest wiring installer, and I don't really care because, I mean, I make it work for me, and that's all that matters. If I was doing installs on other people's shit, maybe I'd be a little bit more, uh, less messy, but I'm not, so I've got multiple projects on the go. I've, I'm ripping this thing apart. No, I think it's an 83, I don't know, I have no idea. No friggin' idea. 83, 84, Trimoto 175. The General Lee is sitting here, 1969 Dodge Charger. Engine's out, all that stuff. This is my wash truck, you guys have seen that in the previous video. That thing's waiting for parts as well. And, uh, oh yeah, oodles and oodles of fun, you gotta love it. Garbage man's here, sweet. Okay, so this is what I kind of got figured out. Uh, up in there. Okay, so I've got some switches that I don't have hooked up to anything at the moment. I am going to 
use this one, I think. Wench power. This will eventually be my rear lights. Wench power is going to be the Phoenix Fusions. So I'm going to, I did run my wires through right here, but I'm going to pull them back through and then up inside this uh, switch box here. Okay, it's all back together after messing around with wiring and different length screws and all blah 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 blah. This thing's mounted better now. I can grab my mic off there nice and easy. It doesn't pull the box over. It was just originally screwed into the carpet. Um, we'll turn the key accessory and then I'll zoom in a little bit here. It's really slow zoom. So the button I, I chose was wench power. That's on. Now we'll uh, bring the zoom back, jump out here, and take a little peek. Hey, hey, there it is. So there you go. Those are the Phoenix Fusion light bars. And there's one on either side. And it shoots out to about... It's kind of hard to see right now, but there you go. Right about here. So it's, it's just basically at the foot of the door, making it uh, easy for someone to jump up in here if... Whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to make up a reason. Because science. Don't make me make up reasons. You can never have too many lights on a vehicle. <laughs> anyway, we'll wait for it to get a little bit darker out and then uh, we'll take it for a spin and see what she looks like. <laughs> Finally dark out. Check that out. Well, dark enough anyway. So, you know, that <laughs> that's, works pretty rad. Just enough light right by the door, you know, if you're picking up a chick late at night, she needs to see how to climb up in the old truck or what? <laughs> I think it worked out pretty good. I think I could probably angle that one a little further. Seems like this one's out a little bit more, but... Hey, it looks pretty good, man. Sweet. Now let's get some rollers. It's finally dark enough to give you a good idea what's going on here. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at that. Awesome. Once I get all the mechanical stuff fixed on this and I take it camping, I'm going to be laughing, but I can see everything. Underneath the truck, on top of the truck, the side of the truck, behind the truck. So we'll give you a quick recap of what's going on here. So the top rear facing lights are the Phoenix AI cubes. The sides are AM900s, also by Phoenix. The ones that I just installed are the Phoenix Fusions. And then on the front, we got the Phoenix AI 20 inch light bar that has more options than a Swiss Army knife. LED headlights, LED nine inch round, you know, whatever, knockoff crap from China. They're all right, not, not nearly as bright as Phoenix. And uh, we got some, uh, these are, what the heck are these? Um, grody and crappy Oxbeam ones, but not nearly as bright as all the uh, Phoenix stuff. Barb's looking pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna have, gonna try to pump out more content here. Um, trying to figure out what to work on next is always the issue because I got so much going on. But uh, once again, a big, big shout out and a huge thank you to Phoenix Industries for the opportunity to uh, install all these awesome lights on, uh, on Barb. Um, I'm super excited to take this in camping. It's gonna be an absolute treat. And I guess we'll catch you in the next video.